Hey there guys, the Mobile Gamer here, and today we'll be working in Brave Frontier, and you will see in the background the first level in the Selena uh, Hero, Ga like Gaia Chronicle or whatever it's called, the Hero Dungeon. It's the Modest Swordswoman. It is 20 energy, just a tiny bit of XP, um, 100,000 Zell and 50,000 Karma, and... As you can tell already, probably we're going to be going over the Brave Frontier Grand Guy Chronicle for Selena. Hey! So this is actually a pretty tough dungeon. It's the toughest dungeon in the game as of now. And that's trials excluded because those technically aren't dungeons. These are three sp uh, special different dungeons each increasing in difficulty as they go, and the final one you get Lexita, which is the, uh, the hero sphere, basically. And Lexita is 30% boost to health and recovery, and it doubles normal hit count, and I put it on my Rickel, or Rickel, or however you want to say it, and it makes her a beast, because she not only has, um... I think one of the highest healths in the game as an anima, but she also has the best recovery, so her as an anima with extra health, 30%, um, 30% extra health, and I think her normal recovery is over 2,000, so that's crazy, and she's a spark machine because she has 32 normal hits, so it's crazy. Now, these dungeons feature Lucina, and she's a problem because she's a water unit, but she is an earth elemental changer, so it's advised not to bring a full thunder team along. What I did is, um, I brought a Maxwell friend, because I still haven't beaten Maxwell, and my best thunder squad, and I one-shotted them in their third battle. And what else is to be said? Um, the dungeons are extremely hard. It's worth using a gem or two on the third one because you get a million Zell, 200,000 Karma, three gems, and Lexita, and that's worth it to me. I used four gems, and I mean, gems are just gems to me. They're, like, easy to come by. <laughs> so, if you, if they're not as easy to come by for you, then, so like, stock up on them because the, it's very... It's a very, very good investment to have uh, the unique spheres that are given at the end of these Grand Gaia Chronicles. Because each one does something a little bit different and a little bit beneficial. And overall, the spheres are just absolutely amazing. Probably the best spheres in the game, other than the Malice Jewel. And I, I just hope someday that I'll get one of those. <laughs> Otherwise, um, the third dungeon is the hardest. I would not advise bringing a full Thunder team in here because of Lucina in the second battle because they're buffed highly from the first dungeon. And the second dungeon, uh, don't bring a full Thunder squad. I, th I say the second and third dungeon um, merits a Lily Mata team with a Darvin shell, even though they're earth, or no, even though they're water. Um, Darvin shell is the best to go with. So thanks for watching guys, I'm the Mobile Gamer, and I hope you have good luck in this because I feel like I did, and um, little little tidbit of information, I actually got Lexita on the first day that the dungeon was out. So have fun with that. <laughs> good luck guys, I wish you good luck in getting Lexita, it's amazing. Bye bye!